Station at this time, over. This is Kilo 2, Julian to Bravo. They will be to support people uh, for the Caribbean as Hurricane Maria They may be down power lines and they should be considered as being live. Uh, the helm is yours, over. It was not something that anyone would expect. I mean, I would never have thought that my island would be in, in, in that situation. Never. People were desperate. We had seen plenty of hurricanes, but I've never seen one hurricane with this kind of force. It was very distressing to see the forces of nature on, on human infrastructure. We were extremely happy to learn the solar system and Casa Pueblo was, was intact. We were the only place in town with power and we were able to be a source of energy for the community. Casa Pueblo y Casa Pueblo celebrando el Día de los Padres en Puerto Rico. At least in Adjuntas, Casa Pueblo became an energy oasis ready to, to help people. Yo soy un aventurero, pero esta es mi condición. Yo soy un aventurero, pero esta es mi condición. Que voy a guardar al viento los secretos de mi amor. Que voy a guardar al viento. We thought that the worst part of the hurricane was over, but it, it wasn't. It, it was just the beginning. Para este tiempo sin electricidad ha sido bien difícil. Vivimos en una oscuridad, una boca lobo, como nos dice. Yo por mi familia hago lo que sea. Lucho por mis hijos. Y le enseño a ellos, la vida no es como uno se la imagina de color de rosa. He llorado porque los ne tengo un nene de 11 años y lo que quiere es jugar. Le explico la situación, me siento con él, le explico lo que pasa, él no lo entiende. Me siento sin que uno, no hay coger. Yo fui la primera que quise ir en busca de esa lámpara porque para mí fue algo necesario. Right after the hurricane, we started a campaign to light up Puerto Rico with the sun distributing solar lamps to teach people how easy, inexpensive was to embrace solar power. We distributed like 14,000 units. When we were doing that, we, we learned that there was a lot of the deeper needs in that community, and we decided to design an urgency solar system in order to fulfill those energy needs. Se, se tuvo sin luz como, como, como seis meses. Y después de, de, de pusimos la, me pusieron la, la placa acá. Ahora mismo este, la cosa no está muy buena para todos lados. Y, y yo pues, y yo aquí sufriendo, pero pues, tengo luz. Y para mí, pues esto ha sido bastante bueno para mí. So many of these communities, rural communities in the mountains, were energy left behind. Basically, nothing was done. And the argument was because it's complicated, because of the distances, uh, because they were prioritizing in other locations. Uh, but they were left behind.
people that live in the mountains, their houses are not like the strongest uh, structures. So many of them lost their homes or at least their roofs. Me confundí con la entrada de la Casa Rosita. People that would rely on oxygen, on therapy, even their medications, they depend on energy to live. For example, we met Maria Medina. She has been with dialysis for five years now. She was vulnerable and she's very aware of it. Eso sería parte de no un lujo, sino una necesidad para seguir viviendo. Se ha pasado por muchas, pero muchas cosas difíciles, pero las plaquitas solares pues me han ayudado mucho. The potentials of solar power is not that we have to do an experiment. That technology works, it's working right now. It's working for Maria Medina for her dialysis equipment. It's working for the barbershop. Is that we need the will and the policy to, to, to do it. The public utility has failed the people of Puerto Rico. That reality uh, is very shameful. Right now, there's a new consensus. The majority of people of Puerto Rico will say, we should move away from that obsolete energy system based on fossil fuels. We should embrace solar power. Maria was different. It changed completely the point of view of people as they used to think about solar as something of the future. Now it's kind of going mainstream, like almost at every level of uh, social status, people are looking for some sort of solar. Puerto Rico is a fantastic place for solar. We have sunshine all around the year. In addition, most of the houses are flat roof, which allow for a lot of the residents to become 100% uh, capable of providing their own energy. It's hard to argue that our old centralized system is a more efficient way of delivering power with the technologies that exist today. When you speak with people in Puerto Rico, everybody knows solar is a better solution. You don't even have to sell them on it. They know, they've lived it. I understand that there is no type of resistance. People are receptive to this type of renewable energy. While the centralized system, we're still working through the bureaucracy and the different levels of the government. While the centralized system, we're still working through all the bureaucracy. In one day, we're able to get a fire station up and running. The use of solar energy will really help us to maintain communication, which was vital during the emergency. And if we can have that in all the stations, which is our goal. Technology has gone from being something that we can have a lot of fun with, and we're able to have a lot of fun with it. Technology has brought us to a point where we can put solar panels on rooftops and batteries in garages and use existing infrastructure and produce the power locally where it's not as subject to events that could wipe out this entire fragile grid. It has to be like a, a community engaged environment where you have microgrids, you have a small standalone houses. There is no more excuse that the technology is not ready. The technology is ready. So it's about just switching the channel and deciding that solar is the choice for Puerto Rico. Project Sunroof is an initiative at Google to try to maximize the, the use of the solar potential of people's rooftops by using our high-resolution aerial and maps data to work out the best places to put solar panels. The solar maps that Sunroof generates are built across thousands and thousands of square kilometers at very, very precise resolution, about 10 centimeters, each of which needs to be analyzed for every hour of the year. You have to look for every hour, where is the sun pointing? How many things could possibly be casting shadow on this location? The hardware itself has gotten very cost effective, but what is still expensive is that you have to send people out to the home to do measurements to see how much shade is coming from trees. And with the mapping tools that we have through Project Sunroof, we have a way to mass customize a system for the homeowner. And this promises to make solar much more affordable for more people. 
This is like the early stage of transformation of the energy infrastructure worldwide. And there is a movement that I don't think anybody can stop anymore. I would love to see Puerto Rico 10 years from now look back on as a case study of disaster recovery. We want to be deliberately take a step back and say, no, this is actually an opportunity to not build things up the way that they were. The stakes of getting this right in Puerto Rico are huge. This can serve as an example for the rest of the world. Me enseñó que hay que reservar, hay que cooperar, hay que comunicarse el uno con el otro y que entre todos podemos hacer mucho. Aprende uno a valorizar eh, lo mucho o lo poco que uno tiene. No todo es la política. Que somos seres humanos y que de la unión Está la fuerza. This is all about people. It's a humanitarian thing. Humble people, hardworking people, people that have a lot of faith. For Puerto Ricans, it's very important to, to stand up and, and, and fight for it. Of course, absolutely. What we have been living was uh, an illusion and we have to face reality. Hurricane Maria is gonna happen again. This is the time for the people of Puerto Rico to get together and actually push for a real alternative. It is our responsibility to change the energy landscape from the bottom up. And this is what we're doing. Not proposing, not going into intellectual analysis of things that can be done, no. We're doing the change. What we're showing is the will, the path, the strength of people when they get into a community setting to change their own reality and create a better future for the people. That's Casa Puerto. Yo soy un aventurero, pero es tal mi condición. Yo soy un aventurero, pero es tal mi condición. Que voy a guardar al viento los secretos de mi amor. Que voy a guardar al viento los secretos de mi amor. Del sol, la lluvia y el viento, un íntimo amigo soy.